Hatchin. Well, Hutchin <clears throat> gonna be 20 years old or more. Quit working. Try to see if I can get her going again. Been a good little sander. Take it apart now and see. Oh, are those screws living in there? How many years? They won't come apart. Wow, tight. I think that. There's some paddles inside these that flare out and centrifugal force. And uh, I think those are stuck. That's what I'm thinking. Get her apart and see. Four screws in the bottom. I don't know. No, that, hmm. that isn't going to help me. Yet, anyhow. Here's a Bondo dust. Oh, wait a minute. This is probably 30 years old. Hmm. There's a screw there, I suppose. That's got to come out. Hmm. We'd be better off taking the handle off. Let's see what happens. Leatherman comes in handy. I think it's one of the tools I have in my pocket that I use every day. Yeah. Uh oh, that one isn't gonna. This is, 
This is just the valve. And I don't think that the valve is bad. Still can't see nothing in there. Well, to try this. We got the sleeve off. I guess the air goes through here and comes out here. Catches the pins inside, but now I gotta figure out how those. Oh, okay. I think. We have to do some pry in here. Those veins are all gummed up. It's so dirty inside there. That's what's causing it. Probably a little worn out too, but maybe we can get another year out of her. This has got to come out of there, but why would the, okay, that screw holds it in, so it's got to come this way. Get a socket.
not small enough. There, no. How am I going to do this? Mm hmm. Just as I figured. These fins, you can see them. They're so greasy that they won't even. They're, they're all cracked. that they were broken but maybe yeah they're made like that they're made in two pieces they're slotted to maybe I won't need to yeah Maybe I won't need. Just gotta clean it. And they're probably made like that. So one forces down and the other half forces up and then they fold that way too. Oh well, I'll look online and see if I can find some new parts for this anyhow I need. I need this piece to do that air filter. To be continued. Okay, got some new parts. Going to take a uh,
going to take the pins out. I'm going to replace. I'm going to replace these. I don't know if it would have been necessary. I think most, mostly this needed a good cleaning. Just using the carburetor cleaner. I'm going to use a carburetor cleaner to clean the valve. These parts for the motor put new pins in here clean it up good and put it back together and we'll see how it comes pretty simple taking it apart new pins are in and this slot right here has to be in that position. And that's how the old marks inside show. So if it's wrong, that's the way they were before. Okay, this piece goes over that. Put it back on. The groove right there lines up with that pin. It's going to be shaky. Well, it's going to take a little more than one. Okay, the pin is lined up with that hole. See how it's made? It's an eccentric. That's what gives it the oscillating. Instead of spinning around, it vibrates. You well, the motor's together. Took a little bit of monking around to get it free so the bearings weren't too tight mess around with it but it's all free now so we'll get her together and put the handle back on put a new muffler on the old one was shot now I gotta put the top pad on when now will it work Oops. The heck? Yep, the valve is the wrong way for some reason or another. But it works.
There, two hundred sixty-four dollar machine, fixed it for ten bucks. Just like new again, for a while. <laughs>